Are you a person with diabetes who thinks regular eye checkups are just about updating your glasses prescription? What if diabetes could be silently creating eye complications that many are unaware of before it's reversible? We're not just talking about blurriness, but life-changing, irreversible damage. We're going to uncover six specific eye complications tied to diabetes. Some of these are rarely discussed, but they can have profound impacts on your vision. Stay tuned to the end to learn about these complications, how they develop, and what you need to be looking out for. 1. Neovascular Glaucoma The first complication is neovascular glaucoma, or NVG, which is a severe and aggressive type of glaucoma. It's caused by unhealthy blood vessels growing on the iris, the colored part of your eye, and in the eye's drainage system. These fragile vessels can bleed easily and along with scar-like tissue can block fluid from leaving the eye. This blockage rapidly increases eye pressure, causing significant damage. The main trigger for this vessel growth is a severe lack of oxygen in the back of the eye, often due to advanced diabetic retinopathy, which is responsible for about one-third of NVG cases. Between 1 and 17% of eyes with diabetic retinopathy may develop this new vessel growth, especially with the more advanced proliferative type. If one eye with diabetic retinopathy gets NVG, the other eye has about a 33% chance of also developing it. Symptoms are intense, including severe eye pain, redness, blurred vision, headaches, and nausea. Unfortunately, by the time symptoms are obvious, vision loss may be severe. Managing NVG is complex, involving lowering eye pressure, treating the underlying diabetic retinopathy with lasers or injections to stop vessel growth and sometimes surgery. Regular dilated eye exams are critical particularly if you have diabetic retinopathy to catch NVG early. 2. Cranial nerve palsies, affecting eye movement. Next are cranial nerve palsies, which affect the nerves controlling eye movements. Diabetes can harm the small blood vessels that supply these crucial nerves, leading to weakness or paralysis in the eye muscles. People with diabetes are 5 to 10 times more likely to experience these palsies. Roughly 1 to 14% of individuals with diabetes might face an eye muscle nerve palsy. One commonly affected nerve controls eyelid movement and some eye motions. A problem here can cause a droopy eyelid and double vision with the eye sometimes turning outward and downward. Thankfully, in diabetic cases, the pupil's reaction to light often remains normal, helping distinguish it from more dangerous conditions. Another frequently affected nerve controls outward eye movement. A palsy here causes horizontal double vision. Less commonly, another nerve can be affected, leading to vertical or tilted double vision. These palsies often start suddenly, sometimes with pain around the eye before double vision appears. The good news is they frequently resolve on their own within three to six months. During this time, management focuses on good blood sugar control, pain relief, and temporary aids like an eye patch or prism glasses to manage the double vision. These events are a clear warning of diabetes-related nerve damage. 3. Transient Refractive Changes have you ever noticed your vision suddenly blurring or even temporarily sharpening, especially when your blood sugar levels are fluctuating? This could be transient refractive changes, temporary shifts in your vision prescription. It's common in diabetes, but often misunderstood. Unlike permanent damage from conditions like retinopathy, these changes are not lasting. The main cause is the swelling or shrinking of your eye's natural lens due to glucose level changes. High blood sugar can cause the lens to absorb water and swell, increasing its focusing power and leading to temporary nearsightedness. Conversely, when high blood sugar is rapidly lowered, the lens can lose water and shrink, causing temporary farsightedness. This farsighted shift is common when starting or intensifying insulin therapy after a period of high blood sugar. It can develop within days and take weeks or even up to two or three months to fully resolve. The degree of vision change often relates to your initial blood glucose and how quickly it drops, sometimes shifting by one or two prescription steps. That's why eye doctors advise against getting new glasses when your blood sugar is unstable. Wait until your levels have been steady for several weeks. This shows how closely your daily eye health is tied to your metabolic state. 4. Diabetic macular edema Diabetic macular edema, or DME, is a major reason for vision loss in people with diabetes. It happens when there's swelling in the macula, which is the small spot in the center of your retina responsible for your sharp, detailed central vision, the kind you use for reading. DME is a direct result of diabetic retinopathy. Long-term high blood sugar damages the tiny blood vessels in the retina, causing them to leak. When these damaged vessels leak fluid and proteins into the macula, it makes the macula swell and thicken. 
This swelling can make your vision blurry or distorted, causing straight lines to look wavy colors, to seem faded, and fine details to become hard to see. According to national health data, an estimated 3.8% of adults in the United States aged 40 and older who have diabetes also have DME. This means about 750,000 people are affected. The risk of getting DME goes up the longer you've had diabetes and the more severe your diabetic retinopathy is. Poor blood sugar control, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol levels are also big risk factors. In its early stages, DME might not show any clear symptoms, which is why regular complete eye exams where your pupils are dilated are so important for everyone with diabetes. If DME is found, early treatments can be very successful in stopping more vision loss. These treatments mainly try to reduce the leakage from blood vessels. They include eye injections with medicine to stop leaky blood vessels or steroid medications. Sometimes a type of laser treatment is used to seal the leaking blood vessels. Without treatment, long-term macular edema can permanently damage the special cells in your eye that detect light leading to vision loss that can't be reversed. So understanding the risk and noticing any early subtle changes can lead to getting help in time. 5. Diabetic Retinopathy Diabetic retinopathy is probably the most widely known eye problem from diabetes, and it's a leading cause of blindness in working-age adults. This condition means there's damage to the blood vessels in the retina, the light-sensitive layer at the back of your eye. Over time, high blood sugar levels can make these delicate vessels weaken or leak fluid. They can also get blocked stopping blood from flowing through properly. In 2021, it was estimated that 9.6 million people in the United States, or about 26% of those with diabetes, had some stage of diabetic retinopathy. About 1.8 million of these individuals had vision-threatening diabetic retinopathy. There are two main stages. The first is non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy, or NPDR. Many people with NPDR don't have any symptoms at first. The second more advanced stage is proliferative diabetic retinopathy, or PDR. In this stage, the retina starts growing new weak blood vessels. These new vessels are not normal and can easily bleed into the vitreous, which is the clear gel that fills the inside of your eye. This bleeding can cause you to see floaters or can even lead to complete vision loss. These new vessels can also create scar tissue that can pull on the retina, possibly causing the retina to pull away from the back of the eye, a very serious problem. The longer you have diabetes, the higher your risk for this condition. Good blood sugar control greatly lowers this risk, as does managing your blood pressure and cholesterol. Regular dilated eye exams are essential because treatments are much more effective before serious vision loss happens. Finding and treating diabetic retinopathy early can cut the risk of blindness by 95%. 6. Cataracts A cataract is when the natural lens of your eye, which sits behind the colored part and the black center, becomes cloudy. For most people, developing cataracts is a normal part of getting older. However, if you have diabetes, cataracts can show up at an earlier age and get worse more quickly. Studies show that people with diabetes are two to five times more likely to get cataracts than people without diabetes. Younger people with type 1 diabetes might even get a specific kind called a snowflake cataract. Diabetes speeds up cataract formation because of high blood sugar. Extra sugar in the fluid at the front of your eye can lead to higher sugar levels inside the lens itself. This can cause chemical changes in the lens, including the buildup of sugar-related substances that make the lens proteins clump together and become cloudy. The symptoms of cataracts are usually the same for everyone blurry or dim vision. Trouble seeing at night, increased sensitivity to light and glare. Seeing halos around lights, colors looking faded or yellowed, and needing frequent changes to your glasses prescription. Luckily, cataract surgery is a very common and usually very successful operation. During the surgery, the cloudy natural lens is taken out and replaced with a clear artificial lens implant. If you have diabetes, keeping your blood sugar well controlled before and after surgery is important for good healing and the best vision results. Also, if you already have diabetic retinopathy, it should ideally be stable or treated before cataract surgery because the surgery can sometimes make existing retinopathy or macular swelling worse, so a complete eye checkup before surgery is vital. Living with diabetes means being proactive about all aspects of your health, including your eyes. These six complications highlight the diverse ways diabetes can impact your vision. You might also want to watch this video on managing diabetic neuropathy. Please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.